All right, we are back with the Flight Scope Mevo Plus, and today I was going to attempt to hit some push draws. Uh, I had a previous video that showed some shot shapes, and it was a pretty good observation that someone made how most of my shots start in the center, and they wanted to see if the Mevo Plus was capable of, you know, starting a ball to the right and bringing it back to the center. Um, there was a comparison video done on a Foresight GC2 with the Mevo Plus, and they felt like they could not get the Mevo Plus to read that ball starting to the right, um, then coming back to center. So that's not an easy shot for me to hit. Um, I'm going to attempt to do so and uh, see what kind of results we get. So that first ball for sure started to the right, not as far as I, I was trying, um, that's for sure. Um, 2.5 to the right, and uh, you can see where it ended up. So um, side spin was right 22.79 from what it's showing up there. Um, and I think we already determined on E6 that the spin's reverse, so that ball would have had 2279 of left spin, I want to say, because that's an identified error that every single ball uh, spins opposite, you know, currently in E6, some type of integration error they're working on. You can see how it obviously came to the left, and it, it, it had the, the proper, you know, side spin on it. Um, it didn't start as far to the right as I was trying, and I know that's my problem and I'm going to try to come from the inside here and get that fixed. So that ball started significantly to the right and ended up in the center. I don't know the exact distance, uh, but I mean look at that, 4.7 to the right um, coming back to center. So I think we've, uh, you know, accomplished once again, 1795 a spin. Uh, you can see there's an R up there, uh, but obviously, um, like I said, it's flipped in E6. They're working on flipping that arrow around. Um, I think that you know they use like an API um, for what I've been told. Any launch monitor that has an agreement with TrueGolf and E6, um, TrueGolf owns E6, obviously. Uh, that API software, it's the launch monitor's responsibility you know, to get that integration, you know, proper. Um, so that's something that uh, Flight Scope is working with E6 to correct. So let's look at that ball flight one more time here. We'll use the analyzer and just play that. Wonder if I can slow it down here. Display black bars, blah, 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 fade in and out, lead time. I think you can, here we go, 0.5. And then we can even do a solid. There it is. There it is. You can see it's starting to the right there. And then coming back to center. I like that. I've never really used these options a whole lot. Um, look, how, look how far to the right that ball started. And then it came back to center. And, and obviously, if I had the skill set, um, you know, to really release that club, I think we could have got that ball, you know, far to the left. You can see a couple balls out there. I hit, I hit a few practice shots, uh, messing around. I kind of got lucky on this first uh, or second shot here. Um, what other options are there? This is kind of cool. Ball camera, trail camera, snap to ball camera, classic camera, solid echo off. Why don't we show some some replay examples here? Um, oh, there you go. So there's the, the echo, and I also put it on, I think, classic, I can verify that. Um, it, I kind of like staying from behind to, to look at something like this. So why don't we go back to settings here, whoops, uh, let's go to solid, and then the classic camera and you can see that ball 
start out to the right and come back to the left.